Hello, good evening, Carlos. How are you today? How are you, Carlos? Can you hear me, Carlos? Carlos, can you hear me? Yes? No. Hello, Kenny. Hello. How are you today? Good evening. Good evening, Ana. Good evening, Darío. Good evening, teacher. Oh my goodness, it's hot today, huh? Yeah, very hot. Okay, today is our eighth class, eighth, number, numero ocho. And uh, we're gonna do the uh, final, uh, the midterm today. And we're gonna uh, finish chapter, uh, was uh, unit, Three, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have a busy night tonight. Okay, so we're gonna start uh, working on the platform, and um, uh, but before we work on the platform, we're gonna be talking about the WH questions. Remember, we were talking about WH question before. Se acuerdan que estábamos hablando acerca de WH questions para qué servían? Okay, okay entonces uh, we have uh, let's do a review. Uh, about the WH questions. We have uh, about uh, seven WH questions. The first one is what? The second one is uh, where? And we have uh, uh, also we have how? Why? Uh, we also have who? Who? We have which? And what we say that we use what to find information. For example, I say, Carlos, uh, what, uh, what is your favorite color? I'm looking for information from uh, Carlos, right? And uh, if I want to know a place, because where is asking for a place, then I said, uh, Carlos, where? Where did you uh, graduate? Graduated from? Where did you graduate from? Where did you graduate from? Yeah, where did you graduate from? So I want to know the place where he got where he graduated. Yeah, quiero saber el lugar donde él se graduó. Pero si quiero saber una un proceso o oh, uh, un proceso de algo. Entonces digo, how? Carlos, how do you make scramble, scramble eggs? How do you make scramble eggs, uh, Carlos? ¿Cómo haces huevos revueltos? ¿Cómo haces los huevos revueltos? Entonces él me va a empezar a decir cómo lo hago yo. ¿eh? Y también lo usamos para how are you today? ¿Cómo te sientes ahora para eh, emotions? Y el why lo usamos nosotros para um, encontrar razones. Why are you always, always late for class? Why are you always late for class? Yeah. No estoy tratando de regañar a nadie, sino solamente quiero encontrar razón por la cual la persona no estuvo uh, a tiempo a la clase. Le puedo decir, why are you always late for class? ¿Por qué siempre estás tarde en la clase? ¿verdad? No es el caso de Carlos Haría. Carlos siempre está, antes de que yo esté en la, en la clase, él ya está esperando. ¿O quiero para estar el teacher? ¿Quiero, quiero, quiero? <risa> Pero es una, solo es una, es un... Un, un example solamente. Y el who, cuando lo, lo, hablamos de who, uh, nos referimos a personas, ¿verdad? Who is your best friend? Who is your best friend? ¿Ya? Yeah? Estoy refiriendo a, a una persona. Who is your best friend? Entonces ahí, ¿quién es tu mejor amigo? 
Y el which lo usamos para eh, opciones. Yes, uh, we have, um, we have uh, pizza and pupusas. Pupusas. Which one, which one do you want? Which one do you want? Yeah, tenemos uh, pizza and pupusas. ¿Cuál de ellas quieres? Yeah. Entonces lo usamos para, para una opción. Cuando tenemos, uh, we can choose between two items or two people. Yeah. We have uh, Ana Robles and uh, Yamilet, uh, Kenia Yamilet Urbina. Yes. Who is your, uh, which one is your best friend? Yeah. Cualquiera de las dos. Entonces cogemos solamente uno. Que en este caso está, está dura escoger allí, ¿verdad? Sí. Así que eh, eh, fue un mal ejemplo. <ríe> ok. Entonces tenemos esas, esas uh, WH questions. Y así es como nosotros uh, uh, preguntamos. Por ejemplo, um, Ana, Ana. Anna, where is, where is uh, your brother? Where is your brother? Yes, podemos preguntar así. O Anna, where is your mother? Where is your husband? Where is your boyfriend? Where is your sister? Yeah, podemos preguntar así, de esa forma. Yeah. Oh, si sí, andamos buscando uh, la cartera, se me perdió la cartera. Where is, is my wallet? Where is my wallet? La vamos a encontrar, pero ya sin, sin los billetes. Ahí. <laughs> yeah, where is my wallet? Ok. Entonces, esa es la forma como nosotros estructuramos las WH questions. ¿Alguna pregunta de eso? Está claro, ¿verdad? Y, y tenemos uh, también los adjectives. Los adjectives dijimos que son uh, um, words o palabras que usamos nosotros para eh, uh, identificar o describir un, una persona o un artículo. ¿ya? Por ejemplo, um, tenemos uh, el adjective uh, short. ¿ya? I am, I am a short, a short guy. I am a short guy. Yeah. I am a short guy. Yes. But Carlos, but Carlos is a, is he's a tall man. I'm a short guy, but uh, Carlos is a tall man. Entonces, short viene a ser aquí el adjetivo que me diferencia de una a otra persona y tall es lo que hace diferente a Carlos de, del teacher. Yeah. I'm a short, uh, but Carlos is tall. Podemos decir eso. Y entre Ana y Robles y Kenia y Amilet, podemos decir Ana. Ana es a, a, a shy girl. Girl. But eh, Yamilet, Yamilet is uh, a friendly, a friendly woman. Yeah. See. So in this case, a uh, friendly, it becomes the uh, adjective in this guy and this. Uh, Uh, example, shy is the adjective, shy girl. Shy is uh, tímida, ¿verdad? Y friendly es amigable. Quiere decir que cuando van a las fiestas, eh, Ana se sienta allá y no le habla a nadie, ¿verdad? Pero ya mi les, hey, ¿qué pasó, teacher? Hey, Carlos, how are you today? Yeah, let's go. Long time no seeing you. And, uh, y, y Ana está allá. Oh, ya me quiero ir para la casa. Ya me quiero... <laughs> Okay. Pero eso es, esa es la, la diferencia de, de esos dos uh, adjectives. Yeah. Ok. Eh, en el caso de que uh, tenemos a José. 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 
es, uh, uh, vamos a decir, uh, serious, serious, serious uh, man, but, vamos a poner, but, uh, uh, Mrs. Gonzalez, Gonzalez is a funny person. Yeah? Yeah. Let's say it's a serious man, but uh, Mrs. Gonzalez is a funny person. Yeah? O puede ser al revés, ¿verdad? Mrs. Gonzalez is a serious uh, woman and uh, Jose is a funny person. Funny is que es divertido, ¿verdad? So, hey, siempre anda haciendo cosas para, para, para estar eh, amena, para ser amena. Y el serious es el que todo el tiempo está. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Entonces, Jose is a serious man, but Mrs. Gonzalez is a funny person. And serious eh, viene a ser, because is the uh, adjective, and funny person is the, um, funny is the other uh, adjective. Ok. Estamos, uh, se, estamos bien ahí. Hagamos otro. Eh, eh, Let's see, Darío, Darío is um, a heavy, heavy guy, a heavy guy, yes, but uh, in, um, ¿qué más ponemos aquí? Oh, Carlos, Carlos, sí, Carlos, a heavy guy, uh, but uh, Carlos, Carlos is a, Thin guy, thin guy. So, there he is a heavy guy, was a heavy. Musculoso. Y Carlos es así como, así como el teacher. Delgado, yes. Yeah, there we go. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 estaba bromeando, tranquilo. <laughs> ¿Ya no vio? ¿Cómo enseñó la roca ahí? Parece Pedro Picapiedra, así como, Vilma. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> ok. Ya ves, porque como te han ponido camisa muy floja, entonces ya cuando te pones así, ya das miedo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Me ganó Kenny Urbina, ella tiene más músculos que yo. Oh my god. <laughs> Kenia. Kenia, ¿qué pasa, Kenia Urbina? <laughs> ah. No, ya, ya, ya lo, imagínense qué lo hizo. Hoy ya no va a poder dormir, Carlos. <laughs> lo siento, Carlos. <laughs> ok. So, eh. Eso es cuando hablamos de, de we talk about uh, um, the adjectives. Entonces, los adjectives son uh, words that uh, we use to identify or make a difference between one uh, thing and another thing. Um, so, we have short, tall, friendly, shy, heavy, funny, and thing, and serious. So, y eso van antes del noun, antes de, del nombre. Por ejemplo, uh, José is a serious person. José Ernesto is a funny guy. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Okay. And uh, eso es lo que tenemos para antes de hacer los ejercicios. ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de eso? No. Está todo claro. ¿eh? Okay. Entonces vamos a, a, a trabajar en la. Teacher. Yes, ma'am. Sí. Yo tengo una pregunta. ¿Cómo se pronuncia delgado? Sí. Thin. 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 Saca la lengüita y dice thin. Thin. Ajá. Thin. Se ve como fin, ¿verdad? Pero no, es thin. Thin. Ok. Thin. Thin. Gracias, teacher. Ok. Very good. Excelente. Entonces, uh, tenemos aquí, eso es lo que, this is what uh, we were working yesterday. Yeah. We were working on the, uh, on the verb to be. Now we're going to be working on, let's see. Second. Okay, we're going to work on the WH questions, the one we, we just uh, um, explained it. 
And uh, over here, what we need to do, we need to select the, w, the correct WH question depending on what uh, the, uh, the answer is. In this question, the answer is, oh, he's a new student. So the question, we have to pick up the question from the three options that we have. Who is that? Where is he from? And what's his name? So if the answer is he's a new student, what will be the question? Who's that? Because... Yeah, who's, yes, who's that? Yeah. Look, who's that? Oh, he's a new student. Very good. Excellent. Now let's go to the uh, letter A. And I think his name is Xiu Q. Chin Q. So what would be the question? Who's that? Where's he from? Or what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Yeah, what's his name? Because the answer is his name is uh, Chin Q. Yeah. Okay, so Chin Q, he's from China. What would be the question? Who's that? Where's he from? Or what's his name? Where's he from? Yes, Where's because he from? Yes, we're looking for a place. So where's he from? He's from China. Very good, excellent. Now let's go to conversation number two and start with uh, Sir Hat. I'm from Turkey, from Istanbul. So what's Istanbul like? Where are you from? What's your last name? Where are you from? Yes, it's like if I put over here, uh, uh, Antonio, where are you from? And I say, I am from uh, San Salvador, from Ciudad del Gal. Yeah. So where are you from? Very good. Now let's go to uh, part A, the second one. And it says, uh, Istanbul is very old and beautiful. So what would be the question? What's Istanbul like? Where are you from? Or what's your last name? What's Istanbul like? Yeah, what's Istanbul like? Yeah, Istanbul is very old and beautiful. Yes. Eh, what's Istanbul like? Quiere decir, ¿cómo es, uh, por ejemplo, uh, what's uh, Ciudad del Galo like? ¿Cómo es Ciudad del Galo? Eso es lo que estoy preguntando. ¿Cómo es Ciudad del Galo? Yeah. Eso es lo que estaría preguntando. So, and then it says, uh, my last name is... Uh, and Erdogan, Erdogan. So what would be the question? What's Istanbul like? Where are you from? What's your last name? What's, what's your, your last, last name? name? What's, what's name? your last name? Very good. That would be what's your last name. Now let's go to conversation three. Hi, John. I'm just fine. My friend Carolina is here this week from Argentina. So what would be? What's she like? How old is she? How are you? 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 Hi, John. How are you? I'm fine. Very good. Excellent. Oh, cool. She's really friendly. Will be what's she like? How old is she? Or how are you? What's she like? What's she like? What's yes. she like? What's she like? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo es ella? ¿Y cómo es ella? Ya se parece la canción de ¿Y cómo es él? ¿verdad? What's she like? Yeah, she's really friendly. Very good. Just like uh, the people in our class, right? Friendly. Okay, let's see. The last one is uh, she's 28 years old. So what would be the question? How old is she? How old is she? How old is she? How old is she? Yes. How old is she? How old is she? Very good. That would be the question. Very good. Good job. Let's see. Okay, we got we got them all right. Let's see. Good job. Excellent. Now let's go to 3.14. On 3.14, we're going to talk, we're going to see adjectives. 
So check the correct adjective for each uh, description. Now, Karen is, let's, uh, let's hear the uh, audio and see what the description is. Okay, one second. Listen to four descriptions. Check the correct words. One. What's your friend Karen like? She's a little quiet, but she's really smart. Is she very tall? No, no, she's not. She's short. How is Karen? Short. She's short. 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 Very good. Okay. Good job. Two. Who's that over there? My brother Marco. He's only eight. Well, he's very cute. Marco? I don't think he's cute, but he's a little thin. Okay, how's Marco? Thin. He's cute and thin. 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 Yeah, thin. thin. Yeah, thin. Okay. Thin. Very good. Thin. And now, Elena, friendly and shy. Let's see how Elena is, if she's friendly Three. or shy. Wow, who's that? She's really pretty. Oh, that's my girlfriend, Elena. Really? What's she like? Well, she's pretty and she's really friendly. Okay. Four. So she's, she's pretty and? Friendly. Friendly, friendly. yes. Very good, friendly. friendly. Now, Andrew. Andrew is uh, funny and serious. Let's see how is uh, Andrew. What's Andrew like? Hmm. He's a little heavy, but he's very handsome. Is he funny? Funny? Uh, well, no. He's not funny, but he's very handsome. So... Is he funny or serious? Serious. 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 Yeah. Serious. He is serious. Very good. Just like the teacher, huh? <laughs> no, the teacher is not serious. Okay, we got them all right. Very good. Excellent. My God, you guys are good. Now let's see how we're gonna do on the uh let's uh do you have any question? Before we start the midterm? No, teacher. Okay, very good. So we're going to start with the uh, listening part. In the listening part, we're going to listen to this one. And it's, um, uh, the name is going to be spell it out. And you have to find out what uh, is the spelling correctly. Zachary, Zachary, or Zachary. Yes, that's number one. Number two. Uh, we're going to talk about telephone numbers. Which telephone number is the correct one? And the third one, it will be um, what item are they talking about? Are they talking about CD player, cell phone, or camera? Number four, the man's wallet is. Where is the man's wallet? This is about uh, prepositions of place. Under his desk, in his pocket, or in his book. Okay. So let's uh, hear the audio. Units one to two quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hi, my name is Anna Chang. Hi, Anna. I'm Zachary Young. Zachary. Hmm. Is that Z A C K A R Y? No, it's Z A C H A R Y. Z A C H A R Y. Okay, so which one is the spelling? That one? The third one, the first one, or the, the second one? The second one. The second one. Okay, very good. Second one. Now let's uh, let's uh, listen the uh, phone number. That's right. Two. What's your phone number, Sue? It's seven one eight five 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 eight eight seven one. I'm sorry. What's your phone number again? Seven one eight five 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 
8871. Okay, very good. What is her phone number? First three. Or third? Three. Three. Third Hello. one. Third one. Seven one. Yes, third seven one. one. So seven one eight five 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 eight eight seven one. Now we're gonna find out where is uh, his bag. Thanks. Three. Brandon, what's on your desk? Oh, it's my CD player. It's cool. And what's in your bag? Is it a cell phone? No, it's not. It's a camera. Oh, a camera. Nice. Where is in his bag? The third one. It's a camera. The, the third one is the camera. Yes, correct. Now let's see the fourth one. Where is the wallet? His wallet. Four. Oh, no. Where's my wallet? It... Two. Oh, my wallet is. Okay, let's see. Where is the wallet? Okay, they want to. Okay, it's got tire. I'm going to refresh the page, okay? So the first one was uh, Sakaria, Sakaria, yes. Then we have a uh, third one. And then uh, we have a camera. Now we want to find out where is the wallet, right? Okay. Camera, nice. Four. Oh no, where's my wallet? Is it in your pocket? No, it's not. Is it in your book bag? Um, yes. No, it's not. Wait a minute. Look under your desk. Yes, here it is, under your desk. Thanks. Where is the man's wallet? Under his under desk. Under his desk. Under his desk. Desk. Okay. Very good. Good job. We got oh, oh yes, we got him all right. Very good. Now let's go to the next one, which is the complete conversation. And over here it says we're gonna use the possessive. Uh, my, your, his, our, or her. Remember, her is for uh, female, his is for male, and our is for we, for nosotros, okay? Let's say, give them Matt, Tony, this is my friend. Aquí que vamos a usar. Name is Jennifer Miller. It's a woman. Entonces, ¿cuál es el, el possessive que vamos a usar? Her name is... Her. Yes, her. Y tiene que ser her. My use for that, right? Her name is Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer is in. It's plural. Our. Our, our, our English class. Very good. Tony, what's. Last name again? Is. It's. It's. It's no, Tony. What's his? Estamos hablando de 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 ella, verdad? Of uh, her. Tony. Or oh, the Tony. Tony. What's her last name? Her last name. What's her last name again? Jenny. Yes. It's Miller. Or oh, what's your last name again? Tony pregunta, verdad? What's your last name or what's her last name? Jennifer dice, it's Miller. Están hablando dos personas. They're here. Entonces, what's? She's. Her. 
His... um, cuando están hablando dos personas, si yo estoy hablando, por ejemplo, yo hablo con this, yo hablo con Jennifer. Is pure. Yo le digo, Jennifer, what's uh, his last name? ¿Está correcto eso? Si yo estoy hablando con Jennifer, con Kenia González. <ríe> Kenia, what's uh, her last name? ¿Y Kenia qué me va a contestar? González. ¿Está bien esa pregunta, Ken? Kenia? ¿Está bien que yo diga, Kenia, what's his last name? No. No tiene no. sentido, ¿ah? ¿eh? No tiene sentido. Entonces, ¿cuál, cuál sería la pregunta? Kenia, what's, what's your your last name your... what's your last name again sí porque estoy hablando con usted ahora entre ellos dos con, ellos están hablando entre ellos dos verdad no, no están hablando con una tercera persona o sí están hablando con una tercera persona no dice aquí Jennifer is uh, in our uh, English class Tony nice to meet you yes y Tony le pregunta what's What's oh. your last name again? What is, what's your last name? What's your last name? Your last name again. ¿Sí? ¿Sí lo vemos ahí o no lo vemos así? Yes. Sí. ¿Sí? Vamos a ver si es cierto, entonces. Yeah, sí. Entonces, what's your last name? No era his or her last name. Es what's your last name, porque son dos personas hablando. ¿Sí lo vieron eso o no? Yes. Okay, sí. let's, go to the, to, let's go to the third one. In this one, we're going to fill in the blanks with the correct form of B. ¿Cuál es la forma correcta del B? Tenemos tres options. We have am, are, are, and is. And is. Okay, it depends, ¿verdad? De que ¿Cuál de quién estamos hablando? Si es tercera persona, he, she, or it, it's going to be is. Si va a ser I, va a ser am, y el resto va a ser are, all of them. You are, we are, you are, and they are. Entonces, vamos a fill in the blanks with the correct form of B. Dice, excuse me. Are you? Are you, yes. Excuse me. Are you Miss Brown? No. I am not. I'm not. No, I am not. I am not. No, I am not. Very good. Y luego dice, over there, my name is Nicole Parker. She is over hmm? there. My name is Nicole Parker. She is over there. She is over there. She is. Entonces le ponemos she. Podemos poner así. She's. She's. O si lo acepta. O she is over there. Es lo mismo. Vamos a ver si acepta eso. Ok. Oh, I'm sorry. Well. It. It. With T. Is. Oh, it's, así. Oh, así, it's, it is. It is. It is. Uh, oh, it is nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Oh, lo vamos a poner uh, contactado. A ver si le gusta así. Pero las dos formas son correctas, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, aquí, we can put uh, she's también, así. She's. Así como el M. Vamos a ver si lo acepta, ¿ok? Let's find out. And we click submit and then we will find out. Ok, very good. Tenemos todas right. Es la forma uh, of the verb to be. Very good. Let's, uh, let's go to next one, which is this one. Check the correct response. So... This is a conversation. This is a, a, a goodbye. And says, goodbye. Have a nice day. 
what would be the answer? Thanks. I'm just fine. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Thanks. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. You too. Very good. That would be the right answer. See you later. I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Oh, not bad. How are you? Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Very good. Hi, how are you? Not bad, thanks. Good night. Nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you. No bad, thanks. Okay. No bad, thanks. Oh, Not bad, dos. Not bad thanks. Okay, escuché dos, dos. Uno dijo, nice to meet you, too. ¿Por qué dices, nice to meet you, too? Hello? Well, Gary Kids says, nice to meet you too. Tranquilo, es una pregunta solamente. Yo sabe que lo que, que donde está la, la lógica. Nice to meet you too. Y not bad. Hi, how are you? Por ejemplo, si yo te pregunto, yo pregunto, hi, Kenya, how are you? ¿Qué me va a decir Kenya? Kenia González. I'm fine, thank you. Ok. ¿Por qué no me va a decir nice to meet you too? Porque me está preguntando cómo estoy. Excelente, sí. ¿Cuándo es que me dice nice to meet you too, José Ernesto Gómez? Perdón. ¿Cuándo es que me dice nice to meet you too? When you ask, uh, uh, for example, if I ask you, how are you? Are you, uh, you are going to answer, uh, I'm doing good. Okay. <laughs> or, <laughs> perdón. <laughs> perdón, me estaba haciendo otra cosa. No, <laughs> nice to meet you too. Um, it's like when, you, when it's a pleasure, when you meet someone, and you, uh, it's like a greeting. <laughs> it's like greeting. It's when you exchange names, right? Mm -hmm. For example, when I said, oh, okay, uh, good afternoon. My name is Antonio. Y Kenia González dice. Perdón, perdón, como me dijo. Cuando yo le digo, oh, good evening. My name is Antonio. Y usted dice. Nice to meet you. My name is Kenya Gonzalez. Oh, nice My to meet you, Kenya. Kenya. Nice to meet you too, Antonio. Nice. Ahí es donde se, se dice nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Entonces, en este caso, que no tenemos, está preguntando, hi, how are you? Entonces, no puedo decir nice to meet you too. Sino que nice es, la, ¿cómo estás? Not ¿Cómo bad, estás? thanks. Nice to meet you too, es... Igual es un gusto conocerte. Pero... Es un gusto conocerte, sí. Ajá. Y not bad, thanks. Uh, ah, no tan, no tan mal. Gracias. No tan mal. Yes. ¿Cómo estás? Ah, no tan mal. Gracias. Yes. Very good. Excelente. Ok. Good evening, Beth. ¿Cuál será la respuesta acá? Hello, how are you, Mr. Smith? Oh, great. How about you, Mr. Smith? Oh, good night. See you tomorrow, Mr. Smith. Hello, Hello. How, are how are you, Mr. Mr. Smith. Smith? Yes, good evening, Beth. Hello, how are you, Mr. Smith? Yes. Okay. Very good. Let's submit this one and see. All right, we got them all right. Very good. Excellent. Let's go to the next one. Complete. Complete the answer, the question with the correct answer. Okay, what um, what are it, this, or these? This. This, this right? No, this, porque this is para, para singular, ¿se acuerdan? Very good. Um, this. Ahora, this Earrings, their earrings or its earrings? 
There. 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 there they are. Yes, their earrings. Next one says, uh, your sunglasses. Is this your sunglasses? This is your sunglasses or are these? Are these your sunglasses? Are these yeah. your sunglasses? Very good. It says, no, it's not. No, it's not. Or oh, no, they're not. They're no, not. They're, no, no these. they're not. Very good. Excellent. And then it says, is a notebook is the a notebook is this a notebook or is they a notebook? This. 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 Yes. Is this a notebook? Yes. Very good. Excellent. No, it isn't. It's a address book. It's an address book or it's the um, address book. Um, um, an an right. Um, no, it isn't. It's an address book. Very good, excellent. Good job. My goodness. We got it more right again. Good. Now let's see. Complete the conversation, use the correct prepositions. Remember the prepositions uh, are the next to, between, above, in, besides. Now let's see, this is the picture that we got. And we have a newspaper, we have a briefcase, we have a keys, we have a CD player, we have like a, um, a this looks like a, it's a, a novel, and uh, this is a, a book of something. Yeah. Let's let's find out. Where are the keys? Yes. Hmm? Yes. Okay. Yes. The, yes. There, there. Now the, um, the on there. next to under in front of. Um. On. On the briefcase, yes, this is a briefcase. On the briefcase, is the CD player behind the briefcase? They said no, it no, isn't. It's, not. it's it's next to next the to briefcase. Yes, next to the briefcase. Very good. Where is the newspaper? Okay, it's on next to under in front of. Under. It's under, under the briefcase. It's under the briefcase. Are the books? Are the books? Let's see. Two. Are the books uh, on, next to, under, or in front of the CD player? In front of the CD player. Yes. Okay. In front of, in front of the CD player. Very good, let's see, let's find out. Very good, you got them all right. Looks like you guys have been studying, huh? Good job. Okay, and now we have uh, complete the conversation, write the correct answer. Conversation one, A, he or she, are you and uh, Michael from Japan? Yeah, he said, yes, we are. 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 Very good. Are. Yes, are. Yes, we are. And oh, you from Tokyo? Are you from are. Tokyo? Are you from Tokyo? Very good. No, plural. They are not. No. We are. We are. Yes. We are no, not. We are not. Yeah, all of the component we aren't. Yeah, así. Oh, podemos también ponerlo. We're, we're not. Entonces lo vamos a poner. Uh, we aren't. Para ver si lo acepta así, ¿ok? No, we aren't. And then it says. Pero ya tiene, um, ya tiene not. Tiene not. Oh sí, entonces we are not. Entonces yeah. le ponemos we are not very good and then from we are we're we are, yes. we're 
Aquí sí le podemos decir, ¿verdad? We're. We are, we're from Kyoto. ¿Ya? Yeah? Vamos a probar así. O le ponemos we are. We are from. We are. Yeah. Ok, let's find out. Let's see. Very good. Ok. We got them all right again. My goodness. Let's see. Complete the conversations with WH questions by selecting the correct question. Now look, this one looks familiar, huh? Looks. Who's what? that? Where is he Who's from? Or what's his name? Who's, Who's that? that? Yeah, looks. Who's that? Oh, he's a new student. I think his name is Chiu Ku. What would be the question? What's his name? What's his name? What his name? Very good. She Q. Where her where from? He from? Where's Where's he from? Very good. Okay, let's see. Where's he from? Good job. Okay, you got him all right. My goodness. We're good. Let's see, just a second. Okay, so that's it. We finish chapter three and we finish the uh, midterm. So up to this point, uh, all of you guys uh, should have finished uh, the midterm. I think if we have done it, um, that's it. So we need to start on chapter four for next week. We're gonna start, uh, no, tomorrow. We're gonna start chapter four tomorrow, okay? So um, uh, we're gonna finish it on Wednesday next week and we're gonna start chapter five on Thursday. Before we uh, let you go, we're gonna do a reading that we didn't do uh, during the classes, uh, but we have to have the reading done. And um, we're gonna try to see um, if we can work on the uh, fluency and on the intonation. Intonation is uh, when you raise or lower your voice. Oh, what's your name? My name is Antonio, yeah? My name is Antonio, yeah? You're raising up your voice, that's intonation. Your, my name is Antonio, yeah? <laughs> you don't say that, right? My name is Kenya Gonzalez, yeah? Oh, my, my name is uh, Eduardo. My name is Jose. My name is uh, Elmert. My name is uh, Jose Ramirez. Yeah. So that's intonation. We're going to work on that and on the uh, fluency. Okay. Any question about uh, the midterm or any topic that uh, was not clear for you? Or something that you need to reinforce? We need to... Um, uh, give you a little bit more explanation this is your time because <laughs> we have done the, the midterm and uh, we have time to to do a little review if there was a a topic that uh, it was not clear for you or a question that you might have if not we're gonna Yo tengo una pregunta. okay anna yes please what is the meaning of briefcase Briefcase es uh, un atache. Lo que usan los, los, los abogados. Yeah? That's a briefcase. Uh -huh. Gracias, teacher. Ok. Sí se entiende atache, ¿verdad? O se puede llamar. ¿Qué otra forma le dicen, Kenia González? ¿A qué usan los abogados? Uh... Portafolio. Sí. Portafolio, ¿verdad? Bueno, portafolio, ya yes, también, portafolio. Mm. Yo le digo atache, ¿no? <laughs> pero sí puede tener otro nombre, ¿ok? Very good, excellent, good uh, question. Let's see, let's do the reading. And on this reading, um, I'm going to have a, um, Benjamin and Deborah. Do we have a Deborah? Deborah Anaya, sí, Deborah. are you there? Deborah, Deborah. Deborah Anaya, are you there? No, you're not there? Yes. 
Yes, okay. And uh, Benjamin. Benjamin is going to start reading and uh, then you follow him, okay? Do you want me to read it first? Oh, you can do it. Okay, I guess you can do it. <laughs> Go ahead, Benjamin. Benjamin. Are you guys there? Hello? No, Benjamin's not there. Hello. No me asusten. No está ahí. Hola, yo existo. ¿Eh? Benjamin no está. Ok, entonces uh, Elmer y Ana Robles. Ok. Ok. Ok, let's, let's do it. Are you from Santa Ana? Eh, sorry, but what is your name? Ana. Ana from Santa Ana. <laughs> eh, again, are you from Santa Ana? Ana? Well, my family is in Usulután now, but we're from La Libertad originally. Oh, my mother is Salvadorian from La Libertad City. Are you from La Libertad City? We are not from the city. We are from the outside of the city. So, is your first language Spanish? Yes. It is. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Good job. Excelente. Good job. Okay. Ahora lo vamos a hacer, pero okay. vamos a corregir estas dos pronunciaciones. Re recuerden que la you no es you, es you. Siempre que vean esa, esa palabra es you. Y uh, el T-H-E no es the, es the o the. V es cuando empieza la otra palabra con una vocal, sonido vocal, y da es cuando empieza con consonant, una consonante. Entonces trabajemos en esas dos, you, yes, da. ¿Ok? Con ese, lo demás estamos bien, estamos, estamos bien, pero podemos mejorar la lectura. Entonces cuando yo digo, are you from Santa, Santa Ana, uh, Ana, yes, se va a escuchar, are you, Are you from Santa Ana? Ana? Well, my family is in Usulután now, but we're from La Libertad originally. Oh, my mother is Salvadorian from La Libertad City. Are you from La Libertad City? We are not from the city. We are from the outside of the city. So is your first language Spanish? Yes, it is. Ok. Tratemos de darle esa eh, entonación y, y esa, esa fluctuación en las palabras. Go ahead. Uh, Ana. Benjamin. Benjamin, Ana, sí. Ok. Are you from Santa Ana, Débora? No, Benjamin. Mm -hmm. Le vas a preguntar, Benjamin. No, no, ah. no es Benjamin. Ese es el que teníamos ahí, pero Benjamin se me, se me durmió. Entonces, ahorita, ahorita está Samuel y tú, Ana Robles. O Elmer, ¿verdad? ¿verdad? Elmer. Ok, eh, es con Elmer. Ok. Ok, yo soy... Sí. O es... Elmer, yes. Elmer, es que Elmer okay, te dijo, are you? Y tú dijiste, de. Ok. Are you from Santa Ana? Well, my family is 
in EU Sulutan now, but we're from La Libertad originally. Oh, my mother is Salvadorian. From Libertad City. Are you from La Libertad City? We are not from the city. We are from to. <laughs> we are from the outside of the city. Acuérdate, Ana, que tú estás trabajando la palabra da. Da. Ok. We are from the outside of the city. Mm -hmm. So, is your first language Spanish? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. Ahora, um, dilo tú. So is your first language Spanish? So is your first language Spanish? Ajá. Uh -huh. Que lo diga él. So is your first language Spanish? So is your first language Spanish? Okay, very good. It's mejor, está mejor. Very good, excellent. It's your first language, Spanish. Very good, excellent. Good job. Ahora uh, quiero ir a Eduardo Melgar con Kenia González. Hi, are you from Santa Ana, Kenia? Well. My family is in Yucatan now, but we're from we're from La Libertad originally. Oh, my mother is Salvadorian from La Libertad City. Are you from La Libertad City? We are not from the city. We are from the outside of the city. So, is your fifth language Spanish? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. Parece que se ponen de acuerdo a ¿eh? todos lo mismo. <ríe> eh, Kenia, acuérdate que no es de, no existe la palabra de. Eso no existe ni aquí ni en China ni en cualquier parte. Es da o di. Y a uh, uh, Ricardo, es no es mother, no hay palabra mother, es Mother, my mother. Porque si te metes mother, entonces cuando te hablo en norteamericano no lo vas a entender que es cuando diga mother, mother, que es mother. Se parece a mother. So, es mother. Y ten cuidado con las you and your. Siempre cuando veas el the, the y, es y, you and your. Para que no se te diga el acento muy your. Your, your, ¿sí? Que se te oiga your, your name is, how are you? Yeah? No, how are you? Like, how are you? You. Entonces, trabajemos en eso, ¿ok? Es, es la misma indicación que le di a los, a los compañeros de ustedes. Entonces, vamos a, a trabajar en eso. Um, probemos otra vez. Lo demás, estamos bien. Ok, Kenia y Eduardo. Démosle otra vez, poniendo en, en, en cuenta eso, ¿verdad? Da, da, y, you, and mother, para Eduardo. Ok, empecemos, comencemos. Are you from Santa Ana, Kenia? Well, my family is in Yusulutan now, but we're from La Libertad originally. Oh. My mother is Salvadorian from La Libertad City. Are you from La Libertad City? We are not from the city. We are from the outside of the city. So, is your fifth language Spanish? Yes, it is. Very good, excellent, good job. Kenia Yamilet uh, Urbina and Carlos Urias. Uh, 
<clears throat> okay. Okay, here we go. Hi, Kenya. Hi. Are you from Santa Ana, Kenya? Well, my family is in Usulutan now, but we are from La Libertad original. Oh, my mother is a Belarian uh, from La Libertad City. Are you from La Libertad City? We are now from the city. We are from the outside of the city. That city. Oh. Of the city. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, is your first language Spanish? Yes, it yes, is. It is. It is. Okay, very good. Okay. Uh, Carlos, so la única palabra que te pude rescatar es uh, from. Yeah. Se te dice from, from, from. Tienes que eh, acentuar más la mm, from, from. Entonces oh. hay que practicar name, name, from. Y Kenia, eh, la palabra but no es but. But sería una bota. But, B-O-O-T. Oh. Esa es but, but. Y la palabra not se, se dice not. I am not. Yeah, I am not. Y siempre la TH, no es de, es da o di. Yes. Y la otra palabra es la OF, la OF, esa se dice OV, porque si dices OF, entonces es OFF, que es apagado. Y queremos decir OV, mm, así, OV, OV San Salvador. Entonces tenemos uh, cuatro, but, not, the, y of, ¿ya? Yeah? Que vamos a trabajar en esas uh, ahorita. Ok. Y Carlos, solo, solo una, from, acuérdate, trata de trabajar en esa from. Dilo más despacio y más acentuado la m. Mm. De ahí lo demás, estás perfecto, ya estás listo para tirarte al agua. Ok, <ríe> okay. Are you from... Santa Ana de Kenya. Well, my family is in Usulutan. No, but. But, but, no, but. but. Perdón, but. Otra vez, léelo. Well, my family is in Usulutan now. Well, my family is in Usulutan. No, but. Now. Where from? Now, see, now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, but where from? From La Libertad original. Originally, uh huh. Oh, my mother is Valerian from La Libertad City. Are you from La Libertad City? We are not from the city. We are from the city. The city. The city. Mm -hmm. We are not from the city. We are from the out, outside, outside of the city. Of, of the of, city. Of. Of. Of, of the, the city. city. Okay. So, is uh, your first language Spanish? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Excellent. Okay. Ahí no vamos Thank a you, Ya no les quiero quitar más el tiempo. Good job. Vamos a... a hacer esa lectura mañana otra vez para los que se quedaron uh, hoy pasó eh, Kenia Eduardo Carlos y Kenia Yamilet ya uh, se me quedó algún nombre Ana también verdad Ana Robles pasó Ana Robles y con quién pasó Ana primero con Eduardo primero 
Hermel o Samuel. Con Eduardo, ¿verdad? Se llama Elmer. Elmer. Okay. Elmer. Ok, very good. Excelente. Ok, good job, guys. Excelente trabajo. Eh, ya terminamos con el midterm. Uf, hoy nos falta el final. Eh, good luck uh, en el chapter 4. Y vamos a empezarlo mañana, ¿ok? Si no hay ninguna pregunta, I see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. 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 bye.